my name is Sims, and joining me today, I have one of Europe's biggest streamers. It's the man, Tommy. Tommy, how you doing, bro? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, good. A bit warm. Well, a bit cooler <laughs> than yesterday. The lights <laughs> have changed now. It's uh, it was a struggle yesterday with the heat. Can a imagine. pure struggle. But speaking of getting fired up, that last game, all bit. <sighs> it's not often I see you getting quite aggressive and loud. What's well, what was going on there? There's a little thing where they. They like to talk a lot of trash, so <laughs> they were talking a lot of trash on our team, saying it'll be our last event, it'll be like they're never going to play it at a tournament again, they're going to beat us, calling us detriments pretty much. And uh, so we just wanted to play them all on fair connections. Play the smackdown. And just show them, show them how easy it is. Fair enough then. So you give them the 3-0. Uh, yeah. Are they going to come back from that? Do you think they'll fight through losing and you'll see them again? Um, I think they will beat whoever they face next in the loser bracket. I think they are they are a good team. They just need to calm their, their little talk about. But obviously the little kids, they'll learn that as they progress yeah. through the scene. But I think they'll win their next game. And then depending on who they play, they may face TCM. Mm. But I think TCM will topple them as well. Everyone loves to give a bit of give a bit of talk, don't they, when they're young. Yeah. I mean, it, it's all part of the fun and games at the end of the day. It's always nice to see a few people giving it all a little bit of mouse. But, yeah, it's hard when you're giving it and you're getting a 3-0 yeah. done to you <laughs> as such. Um, so congratulations on that one, but moving back, TCM and Exertus, did you see that coming? Um, I actually thought, so Exertus went 2-0 up, and then I actually thought, if TCM take this next map, then they could definitely come back in, because Octane Dom, um, I don't think they like playing it, but they are quite strong at it, regardless yeah. of what they say, so they actually managed to come back from 13-6, I think, on Blitz, take that, I thought they had the momentum, they seemed to get pushed Exertus back a bit with a few free caps but then somehow Exertus just pulled it out of the bag and just played phenomenal so everyone was saying they qualify for the G3 at that land they won it everyone was saying they didn't play any good teams yeah. they've come here just got to the final so they're definitely playing quite well I think for you guys as such obviously coming in off of Anaheim not the greatest Anaheim for yourselves no um, TCM getting third place that's kind of solidified them as from an out source point of view looking yeah. in as one of the best if not the best in yeah. Europe getting to that level do you guys really want to beat them to solidify and say, no, we as Epsilon are the best around here. We are the big dogs, and you're not taking that title from us. Well, we'd like to uh, keep our titles, the best team in Europe. We've actually won every European event we've attended against them. So um, it would be unfair to say that their third place solidifies them as first in Europe. They are. Yeah. It, it's definitely uh, always between us two. But, yeah, we definitely want to play them and beat them again. But then again, we're on 360, and they seem to say that Xbox One, they're better. So we have to mm. obviously prove our prove we're better here, go to G3, and then just get a better placement or beat them there. Do you think you'll be seen in the grand final? Is it going to be a um, I'd many black boys in blue? I'd expect them to come back up. But yeah. then again, if we beat Exertus in this final, then Exertus going with a 3-1 lead. So it's all... Yeah, I mean, you've got some big team. Exertus, we've still got Vitality, <laughs> yeah. still fighting through. Orbit obviously still could come back again. Yep. There's quite a lot of teams that could mix it up and it might not be the standard grand final that we're always used to. Yeah. Is well, there anyone who you're worried about out of all those teams? Anyone who could who's who's gonna cause you the most grief? Um, do you I'd think? say TCM would call us the most grief. Yep. The standard answer to TCM because they whenever we play them, everyone wants to win that little bit more. Of course everyone wants to win every game and win the event, but when it's TCM Epsilon, it's always been like that. We always just get that little bit extra fire and we just want to go on and beat them. So definitely TCM would be the best game. But then again, I reckon if we play Exertus and they play as well as they did against TCM, yep. then they could cause us a bit of trouble. Going in then, your next game. Yep. Winner's final. Exertus, the boys in red. Yep. How, how do you think they're going to do against you? Um, it definitely depends on the maps. Yep. Um, some maps, the way they play, suits them. So on Sovereign, they all like to just pure run around, run and gun. Get in your face and super aggressive. Exactly, that's stupidly what I mean. so aggressive. If the maps favour them, say if we have Octane Blitz, we'd win. If we have Octane Dom, I think we'd win. Any maps where it's like sort of a setup and you're you have to push as a team and so on. Because Sovereign, you can get away with one guy just running around like a lunatic. Yeah. So um, depending on the maps we get, I think it will be a three nil if they go in our favour. If not, I still think we'll beat them, but uh, they'll take a few maps and make a few close. You do think you'll beat them? though, yeah. confident. Yeah. Three zero. Three one. Three one. Oh, at least you're not going all out. <laughs> uh, we've got a little bit of time to kill at the moment. Um, sorry to keep you waiting, but it's all right. I asked Swanee last night about this. A um, yeah. few people mentioned over the issues with Call of Duty Ghost and various things like that. You were mentioning over the moving from the Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Yeah. What are your hopes and expectations for the next game as such, and what are you looking forward to seeing for the f you know, in comparison to this game for the next game? Well, I'd just like to see a consistent game. Yeah. One that's fair. They're like Blitz, we're playing it. Everyone's, I think everyone's just trodden along playing it on this game. A few people are saying they actually like it now, but... Definitely, like, the game modes on this 
are they're not the best, but everyone's just just playing it to get through and just get through to the next title. So hopefully on Advanced Warfare, there's a few good uh, hard point back, depending on how the game hard is. Hard point's a fantastic game. So I do miss it. There's, it really bred teamwork and aggressive one-on-one -on -one player yeah. style. There's, you don't see that much. I mean, for me, looking inwards, it's kind of all very sit back. Not necessarily yeah. camp, but yeah. there's not much one-on-one. -on -one because the hard point's always moving, then yeah. you're always, you, but it's I don't know if that hard point would actually work on ghosts because you seem to die a lot quicker mm. on this, and the amount of stuns and so on like that. It just lobbing just, grenades in and, and trophies take a lot longer to in. bring out. Whereas on Black Ops 2, you could chuck a trophy in the second and just throw it out your hand. Mm. On this, you have to take it, place it, takes a few more. But definitely CTF uh, hard point. S and D is good on this game. I like it. Um, hopefully that stays as it is. Spread and butter Call of Duty that way. Yeah, let's exactly. Prefer S and D. What but about yeah. Capture the Flag? Would, are you a fan of fan yeah, of Flag? I love Capture the Flag. So I get really miss it. I, it's, I don't know. For me, it was very. It works well, but you've got to know how to play a flag. Yeah. You've got to know that when to pull it. You see too many people just. Oh, we'll pull Try, this yeah. and ho YOLO, hope that's for the that's best like and away we the go. The people that do that would be good at Blitz because yeah, they're the ones in. that just run straight for the point, cap it. Like, and they can. The game's stupid because if you get three down. You should be rewarded with a flag pull, and then hopefully you get that capture. Yeah. But there of it. But then on this, you get free down. Some guy sitting in a corner, you've ran Away past him, go. and he caps. Yeah. So we saw Orbit yesterday, their first game versus Enigma. Yeah. Thirty. I think they got thirty-six on Blitz. That's just stupid <laughs> points. That's just yeah. let's run it and hope for the best. And they just kept going the same way over and over again. No one was stopping him. It's like it's getting a little bit boring. You know. That's why you, you see be a lot of change that this much with like four SMGs and so on. Like on this, I don't think you could. If there was like Warhawk CTF, for instance, instead of Blitz, yeah. you wouldn't get see teams running four SMGs, just pure running and gunning. It would take a lot more structure, more team play, and so on. Right, guys, I do believe we are going to uh, a quick break now before we get on with the next game. So, Tommy, I want to say thank you very much for joining you. Thank you. Pleasure as ever. So, guys, keep it here. Again, if you want to see some of the lower bears where we're going, the uh, losers brackets, things like that, tweet us at EGL, hashtag EGL13. Anyone you want to see up on here or on main stage, let us know. We are listening. Quick break for now. Keep it here, EGL. <laughs> 